Pastor Cat. It is a snowy, snowy day. So much so that all my evening activities at church have been canceled for the day. So dare I say I have the afternoon off? I think so. So I'm going to go get a cup of coffee and warm up. And I thought I'd take you along. Thanks for joining us. That was pretty easy. Let's go on and get some coffee. All right, well, I put the coffee in me. Actually, a pretty good cup. I haven't been to Arcos yet before. That was quite nice. I'm gonna go ahead and work our way home now i'm about done for the day pretty exciting very easy day other than a whole bunch of snow removal it's been a, a very easy day now that i'm all caffeinated i'm going to go ahead and head home but i can't do that without letting you guys know exactly what's been on my heart and mind this week you know valentine's day is right around the corner and love is in the air and it got me thinking not just about the love i have for my wife and my children or the love you might have for those that are close to you or even for God's people, but the love that God has for us. And that brings us around to our verse of the day. First John chapter four, uh, verses nine through 12. It says, by this love of God was manifested in us that God has sent his only begotten son into the world so that we might live through him in this love. Not that we love, but that he loved us and sent his son to be a propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought love one another. No one has seen God at any time, but if we love one another, God abides in us, and his love is perfected in us. Talk about a high calling. God's love being perfected in us, because the world doesn't see God. He did death burial, resurrection, Christ rather. And so because of that, what the world sees is us. And so our goal is to share that love with the world by loving one another. Such a huge reminder. So this Valentine's Day, share that love with someone special in your life, whoever that may be. All right. I'm gonna actually head out onto the roads here. It is slickery and dangerous. So if you wanna hang out for the trip home, you're welcome to join me. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out. I'm getting ready to get on the freeway and frankly, it is too dangerous for me to YouTube on the freeway. So I'll see you guys again next week. Bye now, God bless. Hey, I almost forgot. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. All right, I said it.